Hey there, thanks for joining me on another Photoshop tutorial. Today I want to talk about blend modes and channels and how you can um, how, how you can mix channels to get this sort of double exposure effect that you can see here on this on this image. In fact, I have three examples for today. This is one of them, this is another one, and this is another one, and all of them are made using the same technique. I hope you will enjoy this tutorial, and if you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, if you like Photoshop and you want to learn photo manipulation, uh, retouching and all sorts of uh, effects, make sure you check my channel and see the videos that I have there. And if you like them, uh, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get a notification every time I upload a new video. So let's get started with today's effect. Let me get my graphics tablet and move things away. Uh, you don't need a graphics tablet for this, but uh, I'm just more comfortable working with one. Let's start with this first example. Actually, I'm just going to show you one and then just walk you through the, the, the other ones to see how I layered things. You don't need more than just one photograph. And if you want to create this sort of double exposure effect that you see here, you can use a couple of them. Actually, uh, you can see this. I have one and then I just have another one on top. Right now, I'm going to show you what I did. So let me just delete that group and actually just let me drag it underneath. And the first thing you want to do, um, in this case I work with black and white images, it works really well because that way colors interact a little more different, but you can try black and white and color. And for this example, I just gonna, I'm just going to duplicate that layer. And what you want to do now is go into the layer styles, double clicking here on, on this empty space, and we're going to work on the blending options section. And here you can see on the advanced blending, we have the three channels and the combination of the three of them is what gave us the composite image that you see here on the canvas. Now, if you deactivate one of the channels, you will see what happens. Right now, nothing happens because two other channels are active, but um, as, as soon as we move the image a little bit, I'm going to gra grab the move tool, pressing the V key. And if you just move that layer just a little bit, you can see what happens. I'm sure you've seen this effect. It's not something new, but uh, I'm, I'm sure you've seen it in some, some other place. And this is also what they use to create that. Uh, I don't know the name right now. I'm going to put it on the screen. <laughs> I'm going to search for it later. Uh, this is what they use to create that fake 3D effect. So basically all you need to do is just deactivate one of the channels and move the image a little bit and you will see what happens. You can deactivate more than one, but with one just enough, you can um, try combinations and just move the image a bit like that. Now, if you use the same image like I did here, the effect is could be a little weird, but you can create that sort of double exposure effect. Let me show you if I grab another image, like for example, this one, it's from the same photo shoot. I got this image from, from pexels.com. You will see the link on the video description and you can see it's the same photo shoot. And let's do the same. Let's go into the layer style and deactivate, for example, the green layer or the red layer. And this is what happens. This is how it looks like. You can tell that there are two different images, but they kind of have this um, interesting effect. Now, this works great for posters, for, I don't know, for CD covers or I don't know. You can, of course, combine this with color lookups. Um, I have created several packs. Uh, you can find them on my website on psdbox.com. These actually are for premium members. This one's over here. And you can see that you can create all sorts of uh, different looks. Of course, you can combine this, uh, changing the table orders, and you can get pretty weird and interesting effects. And you can combine this with all sorts of adjustment layers. Let me show you the other ones. These are made exactly the same, but um, with different photos. So you have these photos over here. These ones are actually in color. I did not remove the color. And if I just go into the layer styles, you can see that I deactivated uh, some of the, well, one of the channels. And that was the result that I got here. And then with a color lookup, I got that. And I think I even used the camera raw filter to to retouch this a little more let me just go inside so you can see how it looks like okay so i just changed i just tweaked the, a few settings here and that's it now this works great for for portraits uh, this one is a little more advanced because well not really 
more advanced, but um, since the images here have all white backgrounds, when combining these, you get something like that. You only have color where the body of the, of the models here are. So then I thought, well, what if I throw a solid color here and set it on darken? It will affect the background, will change the color of that background, and you can actually choose whatever color tone you want. You, can, you will see that some work better than others, and some, um, some will not really work that well. You can obviously try different blend modes, and then I also use a, a color lookup. Actually, this is another of my premium presets from the Portrait Awesome uh, pack and you have the link on the video description as well um, there's a discount co uh, coupon on the site uh, because psd box uh, i'm celebrating 10 years i created psd box in 2010 and i just created a discount code of 66 percent off and also at the end of the month is my birthday so uh, it's just a gift so this is how you can create this kind of effect simply go into the layer styles and deactivate one of the channels and move the images around and see what you get. So that's all for today, a really quick fact, a really quick tip if you want. I hope you enjoyed it and if you're new to my channel subscribe and give me a thumbs up. If you're already a subscriber, thanks for following me and I hope to see you on my next tutorial.